I just ordered this from the container store. I'm going to organize my purses probably on the these two shelves and then put some sweaters up here and then some down here and some clothes but I've been wanting this for a long time. I ordered it maybe a month ago but it just came back in stock from the container store and I also got these shoe boxes that I love using for makeup but I actually, oh is these the bigger ones? Oh no, they're the normal size but I got these for my electronics because my cameras are everywhere. I have like four cameras I think including one Polaroid one so oh actually that makes it more so I have my Polaroid my two digital cameras and then my uh, film camera so I want them I want to be able to organize my cords and everything so I got those two I also got something for underneath the sink which I will show you guys in a minute but I got these little drawers for them just to kind of hide my sweaters and I can maybe put my silky tops in here because I don't mind steaming them before I wear them but let me show you guys what I got in the bathroom because I get a lot of questions about my organization stuff. So I want to show you guys. Look at our really cute bed. I love laundry day. Just amazing. So let's go in here. So I don't know if you guys knew, but I used to have like just a little box container thing full of my beauty products and I was like there has to be a better method to do this and I found this stackable um this stackable thing on the container store that's all my boyfriend's stuff he doesn't really care for organizational stuff that's literally all he has and then we have these two travel things but I have like a backup of some stuff I have this toner some floss back there this is for my hair, um, my acne body stuff. I have a mixture of hair care and like face stuff in here. So I have my brush cleanser, this. The only thing I was kind of scared of is if it gets wet because after I'm done with my Clarisonic, I just leave it on here to hang. So if it gets wet, I don't want it to like turn rusty or anything. So let me check. Actually, it looks good. So I just like have this hanging on here. Um, but yeah, it's just like a mixture of all my stuff, my sunscreen here. I have some backup Shiseido cotton pads there. This is my LMS mask, my Kanuka, Kanuka healing balm. Those are amazing for after you're done working out. I have some miscellaneous things that I actually want to get rid of, but I'm going to see if I end up reaching for them, like this La Mer or Laura Mercier. What is this, like a hydrating mask or something? I don't know. I just tend to stick to the same things and then... I will leave the serum that I was of the mask that I was using the night before and just leave it there. So I tend to use it all up the next day. So I'll probably use that up tonight. And then my micellar water. Where is oh here is my exfoliating. I love this one. This one's really good. And I have this little one that I have to refill. So yeah, that's what and then oh I've been loving this one. This is a color me brilliant by Briogeo. This one's really good for colored hair. I want to go a little bit lighter, so I'll do that. I have like my Sephora pouch there and this one doesn't exactly fit on, it doesn't exactly fit down here but I just kind of like tilt it a little bit. I don't really care about, I don't care about it too much because if it's on the top, it's actually just a little bit too heavy so I need to do some rearranging and put some of the other smaller items down here but I really love this. Like I can fit so much more items. This is great for just hanging and drying off right there. This is just amazing. I was considering putting it in the closet so I can put some of my contacts and stuff in there, but I'm going to buy little organizational compartments for in here. But like I said, you guys, I'm not completely done. I will probably do this tomorrow and figure that out. So that's that. And then here I have like my face roller, which I need to put, find a spot for. I still have some skincare stuff I want to go through, so this is a little bit too full for me. I usually like it a little less full. It's a little overwhelming, so that's not completely organized. I couldn't decide what what shirts I was going to take down, but I think the ones that are less susceptible to being wrinkled, like this one I don't wear much. I'm just going to take down the ones that I don't wear too much. And then the cotton ones, because those can just be folded in. Uh, like this dressy one, I don't... Uh, I don't know, there are just some that I don't really reach for, so... I'm going to let me show you guys okay that I think that angle is better better but I'm gonna just put some stuff away and fold like my cotton 
sweaters like these this one this one i don't really reach for them much the sailor moon one let me know if you guys want it because i'm like over it i didn't even wear it but this one i'll fold this is a cardigan this sweater like here i just have my contacts stuff my purses there that i need to put away i received a lot of questions about what i do with my purses once i'm done using them but i honestly just like throw them around here and it's really bad because the light shines there so i want to hang up my angela roy bags and also my long chump and put that up properly and then i just have my two louis vuitton bags there my givenchy is also in there my big never fold is up there i kind of want to get rid of it because it's just like i don't know i only use it for travel but i'm like scared that i'll regret it so probably shouldn't do that i have all these louis vuitton boxes i'm actually going to toss some of them out today because the recycling guy comes tomorrow so i'll do that later um but i do want to hang up that item so let's go ahead and get started okay so this is what it's looking like it is pretty big it's a lot bigger than what i expected i wanted to initially put it on this side but i'm loving the beige and white so that's okay but i still want to hang up some of my t-shirts i reach for these pretty often so I like to have them hung up just so I don't have to steam them and go through that and I do want to organize these compartments I kind of just threw everything in there just in a rush because I know my boyfriend's going to be home soon um, I ordered a handful of groceries from Gelson so he's going to go pick that up um, I wanted to let me see I want to put my Prada bag here so I have to it's in this suitcase so I like haven't taken it out since I got my Givenchy bag or actually since I went on my Punta Mita trip I think so that was the last time I wore it I just want to take it out just so I can have it on here and then I love this Angel Roy bag so much it's so convenient and it's so functional I love that one it's a crossbody or shoulder bag this one is a crossbody shoulder bag crossbody and handheld thanks to my chain um, I might put that in the dust bag only because I don't want it to get patina really fast because like I said, the sun does come through there. So yeah, I need to figure out what to do with that. This is my eco bag that I love. And then my Givenchy bag would not fit in here only because it can't stand up. There's not enough room from like the top and the bottom. Like the Speedy barely fits in here. It's like perfect. And I need to actually stuff this with something. So I think it was stuffed with this. Just a little bit of stuffing is fine. You don't need to put too much in there. And then the Nano is right there. That one is so cute. It's like such a cute bag. So yeah, that's pretty much what fits in there. I, like I said, I'm going to reorganize these probably tomorrow and figure out what I want to put in there. I also have some clothes here that can go in there. My pants have to be hung up because I can't be bothered to press those before I have to leave the house. I am going to go back to work soon, so I need to think about what... Oh, I think the light just turned off. What the heck? Like I said, I'm going back to work soon, so I need to think about what clothing I will need and what I won't need. So like these tops, I can wear them to work. Just put a jacket over it. Uh, this one, absolutely not. Where's my Burberry scarf? I wanted to put that away. I think it's on here. Yeah, it's there. Okay, well, I will leave this project for another day. I'm a little bit tired after doing all of that. It honestly wasn't even that much, but like I said, I want to reorganize these. Maybe like long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, uh, maybe like some like, well, actually, I think two of these are like cardigans and sweaters. So I can't really change those because if I do, then I'll have to hang them up here. So I think I'm going to get rid of some also. So I technically only really have two drawers to work with because those two have the cardigans and the sweaters in them i might just put that in storage because i honestly don't need that right now i think i want to put like leggings because i've been working out more often so like workout clothes probably in this bottom one since i'll be reaching for it more and then just short sleeve short sleeve shirts for the winter for the summertime i'm getting my words all mixed up but my long chomp bag is still there that's not going to fit in there like no large bags this is like the maximum height so i got a question on what bag i wanted next i said i wanted the speedy b25 but Honestly, I think I want a St. Laurent Lulu bag and I think I want it in small. I've been seeing so many reviews on them lately and I don't know what it is, but I'm just like so obsessed with them right now. And I think I have enough bait and they're like brown bags. So I might get that in black with gold possibly because I don't have anything black with gold. That bag in my Prada bag is with silver. So I might go for a gold, but who knows? I might change my mind last minute and I'm not really wearing black these days. So we shall see. I think that's more of like an autumn bag. But I'm still thinking of what my next purchase should be, so 
I'm gonna think hard and then make my decision based off of that and then I can make my purchase like in July like June or July yeah that's what that's looking like these are just my coats my I am Gia coat this is from Express this is like a cream beautiful color and then my Hollister cardigan this is a Sailor Moon sweater that I want to get rid of my Express camel coat and then just some t-shirts there so yeah that's what that's looking like I still need to organize this section but like I said I think I'm done for today because that was a bit much so I'm just gonna leave it out like that because I don't really I need to put a dust bag over the speedy nano so we'll do that soon but right now let's get out of the closet because I'm tired and I really liked using the like these hangers the wire ones only because there's not a lot of room in the closet and my boyfriend has yet to get rid of some of his stuff so I'm not like trying to pressure him or anything because I really don't care but in order for my stuff to fit I had to use super thin hangers and that was the only thing that pretty much worked if I got thicker ones it would have just been too thick and my stuff wouldn't have been able to fit comfortably so with the thinner hangers I'm able to hang way more stuff but obviously my pants cannot be hung on those hangers because they'll just slip off so I'll reorganize all of my pants and everything so yeah that's what it's looking like for for now it's a work in progress so I'll try a little bit harder tomorrow but right now I'm too tired these I love these because you can stack them on top of each other and I think they did this so it wouldn't slip out when it was going through the packaging but I love these because you can stack them on top of each other and it's really easy to organize your stuff so yes I love those I was considering hanging my clothes like that but I honestly don't think that it'll fit so I think the way that I did it was fine just like stuff them in the squares so I'm really sad that I can't have the Givenchy bag like on display properly but you know I'll figure something out with that oh my god I also forgot about the Alma she's sitting right there can you see her she just needs to like breathe. Can I put three rows with my bags? I don't have like another beige bag though to put with the Alma, so. What would I do with that? Put my eco bags with her? That's kind of rude. I don't know. I will figure it out, but for now, these are gonna go well. I'm also gonna put my Polaroid stuff in here because that, those stuff are just all over the place, so. Look at what a beautiful day. Oh, there's a little bit of clouds there. My boyfriend is still waiting for the groceries to be finished. We're just waiting for them to finish shopping for it so he can just go and all they do is just throw it in the car. So, well, this is too messy for me to handle. That's all my stuff from Daiso. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? I think just close it and ignore it for now. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. I will, I'll tell him that I'll put this away later because Every time I have stuff laying around, he says, what's that for? What's that for? So I would just leave that. My eyebrow brush. Oh my gosh. I did not tell you guys. I wasn't going to say this because it was kind of embarrassing, but like really gross. But I guess a mouse climbed up from the branches or something. And it was honestly so gross. So I don't know. I think it came from that window because this window was actually closed. I recently opened this one when the whole fiasco happened. Let me close it though because I don't like my window open. So I think a mouse climbed on the branches and climbed inside the house. It ended up behind this dresser and this dresser, it's not closed right here. But then when you go to the top one, it opens like that. So the mouse was able to climb like from the bottom to the top and the head was sticking out. I will post the, I will show you guys a photo of it. Okay. And then uh, Luna wasn't doing anything. I mean, she notified me that the mouse was behind there because she swat it and the mouse started crying but then after that she didn't really want anything to do with it so i ordered a mouse trap from amazon and i was like okay i'm gonna catch this tomorrow but you guys i couldn't do anything until the mouse was out of the house like oh my god so then i took one of her toys and i just kind of poked the mouse so it would come out on that side and i put some cheese so cheese really does work it's not just a myth and so i put some cheese on it and yeah, Luna, I'm telling them that you did not help me. So um, I put cheese out and then the mouse came out and I just grabbed it with the bag, like a plastic bag, the ones that the grocery store has. And I just grabbed it and then I went outside like five houses down and I just threw it. <laughs> I did not have the heart to kill it. So I just threw it 
and I made it a little weak with the raid. I know it says that raid doesn't do anything to them. Like it makes them a little bit weaker, but it's not going to kill them. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So I just wanted it to be weak enough to where I would just be able to catch it and then just release it. So that's what I did. And I canceled the order for the Amazon mousetrap. And it was like, honestly, like to be honest, it was a little bit cute, but it was more disgusting than cute. And I don't know how long it's been there. I think it was there since the middle of the night on, I want to say, was that Sunday morning? Yeah, it was Sunday morning. So the mouse was there and that whole night before, Luna wasn't sleeping with me and I was wondering why she wasn't sleeping with me. And it was about, I think, uh, I, well, I went to bed really late. So I want to say maybe 2.30. So at 2, I went to sleep and then I realized I kept waking up in the middle of the night because I didn't feel her next to me. So I think the mouse probably came in somewhere during that time because all she did was just sit here. And at the time, I didn't see the mouse. So I'm like, is she looking outside? Does she want to look outside? Does she want me to open the window? I, she came on this side and she started sniffing. So I said, oh, maybe she wants me to open the window. But no, there was a mouse behind the dresser. So that's the story, you guys. And it was really terrifying. As you guys can see from the photo it wasn't a rat because it wasn't that big it was like a little tiny mouse but yeah i'm still letting this bag air out all of this stuff came a month later and the dresser in the bathroom came really fast but this stuff i guess it was back ordered or something or people were like wanting to organize so it was just took a long time for me to get it but happy that i have it now and my stuff is not very organized, but I'm happy that my purses are not being squished and just thrown around. That was the main purpose for them. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So I will continue this tomorrow, but for now, we're done today. Goodbye. Okay, I'm not exactly sure if I showed you guys how messy this area was, but I just, this is just Jocelyn's stuff. Like I have to go send it out to her. If you guys watch this far, um, I do want to give away this retinol, like pixie stuff. I got it in PR, but Honestly, I'm pretty happy with my skincare routine and it is personalized. So it says Dear Jenny, which I think is so sweet, but I would love to give it to one of you that's going to make use of all these products. So it's their retinol and jasmine collection. So if you guys would like to win this, please leave a comment down below and also let me know how your quarantine is going or if you guys are still going to stay quarantined and wait for everyone else, like the trial, you know? So yeah, I'm like... I'm not really happy about going out or anything. I'm still a little paranoid, but I do have masks and everything, but I'm just hoping that we can all get through this as a community. But yeah, let me know. I will send that out to one of you guys. Probably like, I'll wait two days and then I'll send it out and choose someone from the comments. Um, I will be contacting you via Instagram. So if I reply to your comment saying that you won, please contact me on Instagram. So yeah, uh, so this is what my purse thing is looking like. I ended up just putting my Givenchy bag in my long shot bag because it was not going to fit and I wanted it to look cute so I need to get a bag charm for this. I might purchase one from Fendi. I said that last time but I didn't purchase one and she had a sale going on so that was kind of a bummer but maybe I'll just wait for another sale. So same purses, um, Angela Roy and Prada and then in here I just put my workout clothes. I don't know if you guys want me it's like kind of hard to show you but I'm gonna put these Meshki shirts on Poshmark to send them out and then for these I just have like all my workout pants so um, that'll make it easier for me to like get dressed and everything and then in here I just have some white shirts uh, white blouses in here see so you guys I don't even know like darker shirts uh, satin tops in here I have like chunky sweaters, chunky shirts, uh, I just have all my white t-shirts here. This one, I'm gonna get rid of this one, but I want to give it to one of my girlfriends. Oh, well, actually, if you guys want it, just let me know because I think it'll be easier to send it. Uh, let me put this one here. I really need to organize my shoes somehow. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But my suitcase is still the same. I cleared this whole area. It was filled with my clothes. And then I put my hair accessories in here, like just my dryer. I have this curling iron that wouldn't fit in here, but I put my straightener in here and then just some extra like hair bits and bobs. And then this is my Dyson like curly hair thing. Um, so that's what's in there. Well, yeah, I for sure did not do that. And Luna's just playing with something. I don't know what. It's pretty much it. And this is just like a car mount that can stay there. 
this all i might move it this is from a suitcase i believe i might move it down here and then put my shoes up here so yeah i feel like i should have something like elevating here i don't know okay let me move this down here and then i will move my shoes over here because that'll be easier for me so i just put my shoes in here it's a little dark so i put the flash on and everything looks good right now so whenever i need a pair i just take it out i feel like they might all fall like the domino effect but it's okay as long as they look like pretty neat to me then i'm fine i think i'm gonna put these up front just because i wear them more often um my sandals i don't really wear those just in case i need them for anything and then i'll put this pair up here so i've been in love with my zara shoes these i wore them in like the dirt so they're not the cleanest i do have to like wipe them down you can see like there's like scuffs here i should probably get like a new pair so i'm thinking about doing that because this pair is like already messed up uh that's the thing about like cheaper stuff is that you don't really care about it so you tend to just wear them out and then my leather supergos i don't wear those too much these i could have gone half a size down they are a little big for me but i can't wear them for like a super long time but I can wear them like for a day, I guess, but if I wear them for one day, like I can't wear it the next day. So that's the only thing. I need to get like a pair of more comfortable shoes, but I should really clean these. So yeah, and then I moved that stuff there. Um, Those are just all my boyfriend's shoes. These are like his crocodile shoes. That's like real crocodile. This is ostrich. I don't know like when he ever wore these. It's so silly. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, Oh, I need to clean the bathroom one so i should probably go and do that okay i didn't really change this much i just put my more frequent use products on top as well as a micellar water so i have sunscreen my brush cleanser i have my heat protectant another heat protectant leave-in conditioner i have my whey body oil i use that every single day for my body it's also a hair oil but i don't use it for my hair oil i use my olaplex i have my daily facial wash my hair conditioner that I use all the time um, after I get out of the shower I put this on and it makes my hair like super silky and soft my contact solution also this uh, acne body spray, body spray and my pixie toner so that's that I could make it like more aesthetically like pleasing but that's what we're working with right now so that is the top of drawer and then the bottom drawer is just all the heavier stuff, things I don't use too often. So I put like some of my face mask in there because it felt like it was too crowded in here. And I still feel like it's too crowded, but I can't figure out what, what it is. I guess I can put that away. Uh, like my hair stuff, I can put that away. But it's like, I feel like all these things I use every single day. So maybe not this tiny oil. What else? This tea tree, I should probably use it for my head. This is like, I don't know, it's like organized, but it's still kind of messy to me. Like, I don't, I don't really know what's going on with that. And then my face roller, I should just put that in here. In the mornings, I don't know, I just like, I can't figure this out right now. It's just way too unorganized, but yeah. That's what it's looking like. I'm still happy that I only have one little, like, this thing that I was able to fit all my stuff. And then I can use this. So I'm just going to take my facial pads or my facial cotton things. Just put them in here. So goes in the trash and these I use these like every day so I need them for my veins but I suppose I don't know I don't know what those um this is pretty much out I was gonna try to squeeze what's left in there um this is like a Clarins mask I do want to try this so I'm gonna leave that in there I have some Tylenol that hasn't expired yet. Um, yeah, this is like just really frustrating for me. <laughs> it's like I want to organize it, but I feel like I don't know how. Okay, I wanted to tackle this because it still looks messy to me. Like, I don't know why, even though I put the organizers in there. 
and then I have my cameras up there just like on a little on top of the shelf but it still looks messy so I need to take the makeup out of there and like do something with it I think I'll throw away that bag I don't know honestly this is like too overwhelming for me to do in one day so we're gonna shut this and I think that's the end of my organizational video because you guys I still need to figure out what to do and yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed um I'm gonna exercise again in a bit this is gonna be my second time doing Chloe Ting's workout today thank you guys for watching um I will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>